federal judge gives FBI 14 days to hand over evidence on Seth Rich's murder case. Now, y'all know I've done tons of videos on Seth Rich's murder case on my old channel on Odyssey. Y'all can um, check the link in the description um, for my Odyssey uh, um, um, my Odyssey channel where I go into a lot of detail and a lot of history I've been covering um, since his killing in 2016. So there's a lot of information there. Um, I find it kind of strange that um, his his family is not fighting more to find out what's really going on. Um, and then they sue anyone that has any conspiracy theories, considering Seth Rich, which is also weird to me. You think you will want to find out the truth, but I'm not going to really talk about that too much. We're going to talk about this um, uh, with the with the uh, federal judge said and, and the FBI. Um, but before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button. Share this out so we can get this information out there. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Hit that alarm bell so you know when I'm putting out new stuff. Also, check out my link tree in the description. It has a link to my Patreon where I talk about things I can't talk about here. There's also a link to my Instagram and my merch store. Also, check out jjthepsychotherapist.com for news as well. All right, let's talk about this news. A U.S. federal judge has ordered the FBI to provide all evidence and files related to the murder of former DNC staffer Seth Rich, who was killed in Washington, D.C. on July 10, 2016. Seth Rich, a 27-year-old DNC employee, was shot twice in the back and died about an hour and a half later in the Bloomingdale neighborhood, which is super duper weird. Because although police suspected a robbery, none of Rich's possessions were taken, and his mother mentioned uh, um, signs of a struggle. Rich has long been suspected of leaking emails from Hillary Clinton's 2016 campaign to WikiLeaks, but the proprietors of his murder were uh, never apprehended. I'm sorry, proprietors, I meant perpetrators. Um, but... That, and I, I really do believe he's the uh, um, WikiLeaks leaker. Um, and um, in fact, uh, uh, Julian Assange pretty much hinted at that, that um, Seth Rich was the leaker. Um, attorney Ty Clevenger persisted in uh, pursuing the truth, aimed to uncover who supplied Clinton and Podesta's emails to WikiLeaks, a crucial aspect of the Russian collusion narrative. Um, despite the FBI's failure to inquire with WikiLeaks about the email source, a federal judge recently ruled that the Bureau must hand over evidence related to Rich's murder. In September, the FBI requested an additional 66, that's right, 66 years before releasing the information, but the recent court decision mandates disclosure within 14 days. So my question is, if it was just a, a regular robbery, why would the FBI want to wait 66 years before they le release information on it? The, I mean, the red flag should go up right up right there. And again, I don't know why the question, his family isn't questioning the FBI on this. What, what are the, why are they withholding this if this is just a regular normal robbery um, going wrong? But the ruling specifies the surrender of Rich's personal laptop, work laptop, a DVD, and thumb drive. The development is significant, especially considering the FBI's attempt to bury, uh, bury information on Rich's uh, case in October 2022. While the corporate media consistently neglects the story, Judge Amos L. Mazant's order to turn over Rich's laptop and related items has drawn attention. Rich's death, officially attributed to a botched robbery, remains shrouded in mystery, with the alleged DNC email leak adding complexity to the case. And Republican um, Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene confirmed the judge's decision, highlighting the lack of detail surrounding Rich's death. Previously, the FBI blocked a FOIA request related to Rich's death, further contributing to the cloud of uncertainty surrounding this case. Again, my question is, what is the FBI hiding? If this was just a robbery gone wrong, a botched robbery, where no one takes anything, shoots the guy in the back, 
uh, two times and there's a struggle, why wouldn't they release this information? Yeah, I think we all know why. Um, if y'all want to know what I'm talking about, check out, again, my Odyssey channel where um, um, you can look at my old, uh, my old YouTube channel there is there where I go over um, a lot of stories pertaining to this case. But let me know what you think. Leave your comments down below. Like, share, and subscribe, and check out jjdecyphertherapist.com for the latest in news. Until next time, peace.